Hey, it's a brand new year and some brand new opportunities and challenges. And we're hoping that in 2021, we can use the vaccines and get our lives a little bit back to normal and push back against this virus, which has decimated our lives and our economies. Now, for you guys as immigrants, it also means a different challenge. And the challenge is that most of the immigration requirements and these different countries is changing. And it's changing very rapidly and changing constantly. And for you as an immigrant to stay up to date with those changes is really challenging. So today I'm going to show you a little hack so that you can stay up to date with those rapid changes of the immigration requirements in your destination country. And also that you can stay up to date with some upcoming opportunities of these economies that is now in growth mode after coronavirus and which these governments need people to grow their economies as well. And for that, I'm going to show you in my computer how you can create this little hack and create a way for you to get those changes and the news and the updates coming to you and stay up to date and stay ahead of things. So let's go see how that works. So what I'm going to show you here is to create some alerts in Google of your preferences. Remember your aim here is to find any news, any articles, any updates, anything that is relevant to your immigration journey. And just a note here, keep it topical, keep it positive, keep it relevant so that when Google goes and search the internet for the updates about these things, it only brings you those things that are relevant. So you don't have to page through many different things to get to the information that you need. So the first thing you need to do is to find the relevant words and keywords which are relevant to your niche, your destination country, your immigration journey, etc. So here are some examples. There are different types of examples. For example, you can use general immigration related keywords to search for. And obviously all of these keywords will have to be in your destination country. And I will show you how to do that. So general immigration related keywords can be anything like immigration, migrants, immigrants, skill shortages, etc. Then you have, for the moment, COVID affected border restriction related keywords. In other words, where we want to know when borders of a certain country is going to open or reopen or border restrictions will be lifted. And any of those kind of things appear in the news, gets published on the official websites. That's when we want to be alerted to those kind of things, which is very topical at the moment. Also, keywords specific to your industry or your job, your occupation or your skill. For example, accounting and accountants, manufacturing, engineering, trades. If you're in a trade like electrician, a builder, a tiler, a carpenter, meat worker, any of those kind of things. Construction, ICT, health workers. So anything that has a relation on your specific industry, your job, your skill, your occupation. So you'd have to... Um, um, investigate even more words in here that has a, an effect or is related to your particular industry. Um, this is just an example of some words. Now the idea is to put these words into an alert into Google. Let Google scour the internet for announcements, articles, where these things are in the news, where anything happens that that has these words in it, it will bring it to you. So that way you are creating an automated process of becoming aware of changes, of becoming aware of skill shortages, of becoming aware of any of these things in your destination country. And you don't constantly have to do the research. Google is going to do the research for you and send you these things. When you've done it, it will look like this you will get alerts like this coming. So I have these alerts coming to me every day. I go and I read through all these alerts and I definitely make sure that I take the things that are um, of value here, 
things that I know that um, my clients can use or things that I can post on my website or on my Facebook pages and give people information about or just read for resources so I can serve my clients. So here is an example, 40 new jobs for women building surveyors. And this is an, an example of new jobs that are out there for women who want to get into surveying. And it's just an example. There are many, many more. You will see, for instance, in Borders Reopen, um, there's a, an example of people complaining about the borders. It's just an article, but it comes to me and I can read through those and make sure that I have this information to serve my clients. Okay, so how do we do this? How do we go about actually putting this together? So what you need to do is to go to Google and put in Google Alerts. And it will give you the site where you can set up your Google Alerts. There are other apps and, and ways to do it, but I like Google. And here you can create your alerts. So these are the alerts that I have already created here. So say for instance, I am in the construction or the infrastructure um, niche and I want to go to New Zealand and I want to know about any kind of news, articles, skill shortages, anything that comes in that industry infrastructure and construction then i would put in the keyword construction and in the options i would have when it would be emailed to me where it would come from now i use i usually leave this on automatic in english region obviously here if i want to go to new zealand i would put new zealand or canada or australia let's put australia in here and here you would um, choose whether you want to get all the results or only the best results. I have gone for all, but it was too many. So I've gone for um, only the best and then your email address. And then you can create that alert. Now, anything construction related in the news in Australia is going to be emailed to me once a day. And it will come into my email like this. I can then read through it, make sure that I know the information there. The thing is that sometimes there will be news and happenings about, for instance, these border restrictions and how borders might reopen and what the government is talking about and what they're discussing and what they are contemplating and um, debating in parliament or in cabinet or wherever they are and what the government is all about. But it won't be on the official websites yet. It would just be in the news and news reporting on it. And that way you can stay up to date with these things coming to you, learn about what's happening, get your head around what is happening in your destination country with any of these things. And that will give you a great idea of staying up to date with immigration changes, borders reopening, news of skill shortages or new developments in your industry, etc., etc. So I hope that was helpful for you. Go and create a range of alerts like this for you. Check them, getting you them into your email like I have here. You can refine them if you always, um, if you want to make sure that they um, are better refined that they might be coming to you and they're not well refined then you can go and refine them and change them again in your alerts and um, you can see all your alerts here and make sure that you're getting um, you can edit them or you can delete them so that's how to set up an alert system to automate news coming to you about your immigration journey so stay up to date until next time